days when there again was a great crowd without anything, anything to eat. Jesus among the disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way. And some of them have come a great distance. His disciples answered him, Where can anyone get enough bread to satisfy them here in this deserted place? Still he asked them, How many loaves do you have? They replied, Seven. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then, taking the seven loaves, and then taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them to the crowd. They also had a few fish. He said the blessing over them and ordered them distributed also. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets. There were about four thousand people. He dismissed the crowd and got into the boat with his disciples and came to the region of Dalmatha. The Gospel of the Lord. During the last day, we meditate the readings from the book of Genesis. And in these readings, we can see the origin of the destruction, the origin of the sins, the tragedy of the humanity. We can see the first sin. And the first sin is disobedience to God, is pride before God. That is the origin of everything. After that first sins appear other ones. Appear problems between Adam and Eve. The relationship between, the, between them broke. And after problems between brothers appear the death. One brother killed the other one. The original sins disobedience there is the origin of other that we live the other sins that we live right now too and before that what is the way what is the way that we need to walk in order to restore everything the way is jesus christ he is our way and he appeared in our life, in order to restore everything. The relationship with God after the original sin is broken. And now with Jesus Christ, we have new opportunity, new life. He had pity with us. He has pity with us. And for that reason, he offered his life for our salvation. And now it's possible to come back the paradise. It's possible to have again a good relationship with God. Follow Jesus. This is the way in order to find the authentic happiness. Stay with Him. Follow Him. The original sins exist. Our sins exist too. Before that reality, humility and trust in the mercy of God. Lord, I'm sinner and sorry for my sins. I need your compassion. I need your mercy. Give me wisdom in order to discover what is good, what is bad. Give me your wisdom in order to resist the temptation of the evil one. His traps. He put in your life many temptations, attractive things. But behind that, destruction, death, sins. 
Pray to Jesus, Lord, give me strength. In order to resist temptation, in order, pers in order to have a good relationship with you, in order one day enter in your presence. The sins exist. Today, the world said, nothing is bad or good, it depends on you or your freedom. This is the same trap, the first original sin. The same trap, the evil one said to Eve and Adam, nothing, nothing is bad or good. And God don't love you. That is the same trap today. Listen the word of Jesus and put into practice that and resist the temptation, especially in this world, in this moment of our history. Look at Jesus and say to him, Lord, I need you. Give me your wisdom. Give me your strength. And one day give me the eternal life. I stay with you forever and ever. Let us pray in silence.